we're not hungry at all, right? I'm starving. Starving. Okay, good. I'm so glad. Yep. So you said TGI Fridays is right around the corner. So let's try this place, the trumpet. Like, you really like instruments, yeah? That's, that's okay, absolutely cool. true. I let's, played the clarinet. Let's give it a shot. David played the trumpet. Oh, we're right here to the left. Oh, really? Go ahead. <laughs> Let's maybe try like. Go ahead, maybe just look around. Maybe like to the right. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Hey. So we are at the Trieste airport waiting to take a shuttle bus because we're going on a cruise with our parents and unfortunately we have no parents. We have no parents. Because they are delayed. So. Ryanair sucks. Be careful. <laughs> Oop, I mean, well, it does though. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're not going to get sponsored by Ryanair. <laughs> But we take Ryanair. So multiple flights. <laughs> yes. Never go budget airlines if it's like multiple hops to a location. Yes. Bit our parents in the butt. Yep. So I they did. missed their uh, their Rome and uh, Trieste flights. Yes, they did. But that's in the past. It's in the past, and we will have more on the cruise with our parents in the future. So in the meantime, we wanted to do a little bit of a reflection on Latvia mm -hmm. before we got too far removed. It's your first time going back to the country where your family is from, you have lots of history, and we just wanted to reflect a little bit about our time there. Yeah. So what um, what would you say we primarily did while we were in Latvia for the first time? Oh, it was great. It was, um, was kind of like a pseudo family reunion too, which was amazing. Uh, so many of my family from all around the world, uh, just, it was kind of, serendipitous they all met at the same time and so I was really looking forward to that I think first and foremost it's always family um, and it didn't hurt that you know we were going to this country where you know my name's Edvards right I'm Latvian on both sides uh, that was my first language before English um, so it was and I grew up you know with a really cool and unique Latvian heritage but you know being 34 and leaving at age 35 in, in Latvia, um, it, was, it was something I was really looking forward to. And um, uh, it, was, it was an absolute blast. Awesome, so what did you learn about Latvians that maybe some of the characteristics or some of the things that you kind of observed while you were there that you would also say either you or members of your family possess? Well, it's pretty cool too. It starts with how people look, right? So I saw, I didn't see so much of snippets of how I look, but I saw a lot of you know, family members, a lot of characteristics. I saw a lot of my brother and people's faces and other family members. Um, but we took a, a free tour um, and it was really cool. We, uh, that explored all of like Riga, Old Town, New Town, and uh, obviously touched upon the culture. And so it's funny how Latvia, among other funny things, is uh, it was the, like the last European country to be exposed to Christianity. So they were pagans and there's a lot of, uh, um, pagan um, symbols and kind of like there's a lot of things that they celebrate that kind of stem from their love with nature so yeah. it, it sounds like it sounds sacrilegious but sound you know they really embrace um, the environment nature uh, the Sun the harvest stuff the like forest, that yeah. and they build upon that um, and so yeah they're all about the Sun for the country that you know in the winter time where they get like four hours of sunlight and in the summertime it's like you know 20 hours you know they really embrace it um, but that was really cool um, you know other characteristics like so I mentioned they're very in touch with nature I think it's a country I don't know if it's fair to say that they're they're uh, introverts but they have introvert qualities um, 
they supposedly invented the modern day Christmas tree. Um, very creative. They're very creative. They like to sing. Yeah, they love to sing, right? So, um, you know, my my years in show choir, <laughs> they all make sense now. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're very warm, very family oriented. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of traits that your family possesses. Yeah, very family oriented. This so is true. What would you say to someone maybe interested in going to Riga or Latvia? I'd say don't have any hesitation. So, um, you know, I can speak a little bit of Latvian, but the, whenever I would try my Latvian to get around, I was kind of disappointed in the sense that everyone knows English and they're very eager to practice their English. So the moment they smell weakness, the moment I, you know, grammatically incorrectly say something, they quickly realize, oh, American or Canadian or whatever. Yeah. Um, so it's very easy to get around, very easy to communicate. Um, a lot of the menus are in English as well. Um, and yeah, Riga is very walkable. It's very, uh, you can you could spend a couple days in, in Riga, in Old Town and Newtown, um, because there's a lot to do. Um, the food is really good, surprising. I thought we were gonna come into a, a little city that embraces like, you know, cold meats and fish and potatoes. And yeah, there is that, um, but it's really good. The, the food is just amazing. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, we went to, and I'll touch upon this, in a bit, but we went to Trumpet, which is delicious food, um, and highly recommend that place. Um, there is the uh, Ala, no, yeah, yeah Ala. Ala, which is right across the street. Really good food as well, and just consistently. Um, there's a Lido, which is like a cafeteria sort of place that actually is also in Berlin, <laughs> um, and probably that. other locations. Yeah, yeah. great food. Um, Latvian cuisine loves their dill. Dill is in everything. So if you don't like dill, that might not be the uh, cuisine for, for you. Sorry, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, so I think, and it's, it's really actually affordable too. It's, mm -hmm. um, it's relatively cheap. Yeah. All things considered cheaper than it is in even like Cleveland. Yep. So, yeah. Definitely. Beautiful National Library. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Very friendly people. We met some nice Russians when we were there. And we lots did. And lots of Latvians, so it was cool. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Cool. A lot of really good people. A lot of really kind-hearted people there. Yes, very yeah. warm. Yeah, and uh, it was an amazing experience too because, um, yeah, as I mentioned, I was 34 <laughs> when I went to Latvi, and then um, I left 35. But yes. in between that time, <laughs> my amazing wife had secretly been coordinating with my family, our family, mm -hmm. Uh, a surprise dinner. Um, so my cousin Daniels, um, you know, was so gracious enough to. Uh, we, we had the uh, family dinner at his amazing restaurant, Trumpet, and um, you know, great food, great people, great amazing carrot cake. Um, <laughs> it was just a. It was a wonderful time. It was a total surprise too. I loved it. Nice to get everybody together. Yeah, it was. It was such a great, such a great 35th birthday. And. Kudos to Innes and all of your relatives for singing you that traditional song at the end. We'll have to play the video at some point so you guys can see it. But yeah, it was it was awesome. It was a blast. So 35. Yeah, feels like 34. Um, <laughs> except no, I, it feels the same. Uh, absolutely, but I feel younger than 35. Good. Like 24, 25. All right. Well, good. Bring yep. it. <laughs> yep. So Latvia was. A lot of fun. Paul Diaz. Paul Diaz. Ludes. Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is a long video if you're going to put it on me too. We're at seven minutes. <laughs> That's a long video. So, what about you? Um, newcomer to Latvia. Obviously, you've been to the Baltics. You went to Estonia yes. a couple of years ago. What were your thoughts? So, I was really excited for you, honestly, because having been to Finland before and seeing so much of my grandma and my aunt in Finland and so much of myself, I was really excited for you to have that experience um, and to see the people that look like you. And like we laughed about, so many of the traits, you know, you love nature, your mom loves flowers, she puts flowers everywhere we saw, flowers all over Riga and Latvia, the kindness and the warmth, the singing and the dancing. Um, the emphasis on good food. I mean, they, it was just really cool to see that you and your family are so Latvian. And uh, I was really excited for you to have that experience and to be able to enjoy it with your family. Yeah, 
Yeah, we saw the countryside too. Yes, we did. We went out to your grandmother's farm. Yeah. Um, and then obviously and family friend's yep. farm as well. Yep. And uh, that was amazing. So in Latvia, they have a weird rule about squatters. So because no one from the um, Kumalink side lives on the farm and that house is obviously gone. On the Tikkinch side where they have a house, nobody from the Tikkinch family lives there, but Dav, your cousin, technically owns the land. Yep. However, a Latvian family moved in and lives there. So it's two cute little grandmas uh, <laughs> that live there and uh, they just stay and kind of keep the land up and running, which was interesting to see. Yeah, it's one uh, win. The I countryside's think. beautiful. So definitely get out and see the country. Archer uncle, a relative of ours, talked to us a lot about the forest in Latvia and how it really does look different yeah. uh, and how in World War II a lot of Latvians who didn't want to get deported or have to join the army would flee and hide in the woods which was pretty cool um, we actually also did see to that museum mm -hmm. um, about the Soviets and some of the torture KGB. Uh, KGB tactics that they used and you found out from your cousin that there was a relative of yours that was actually held in there by the Soviets which was kind of crazy yeah um, so yeah it was just it was a very very uh, fun trip it was very cultural I really loved spending time with our family there and uh, I couldn't recommend Latvia enough I'd say definitely give the Baltics a try Riga they said is the most visited capital in the Baltics right now and yep. I see why so yep. give it a shot all right Sveiks Sveiks <laughs>